When we were first starting out, a lot of students, especially like in the Malaysia and like uh, Thailand, they were like, "Oh, what does like hack mean?" And their parents were like, "Oh, it's like kind of like hacking computers. Like you shouldn't go to that." I'm David, senior at Penn Science Computer Science, and. I started Youth Hack, an international nonprofit organization that helps students learn more about startups, technology, and entrepreneurship. I'm a huge believer in the fact that talent is universal, but opportunity is not. And the best part about working on Youth Hack has just been being able to apply everything I've learned here and like bring that back to these developing countries. One of the early projects from our very first event were these high school students in the Philippines. They decided to create like a common app, but for the Philippines. So traditionally, uh, students would have to like get forms and uh, fill them out one by one for every college they wanted to apply to, and they had to send it to the colleges. And for students who studied in the province in the Philippines, it was really hard to like apply to multiple schools because of that. And so these students uh, who saw this problem wanted to, and wanted to create this like, application that would streamline the process in the Philippines. And uh, they ended up pursuing the idea afterwards. And they raised some funding. And they got accepted to a few like, accelerator programs here in the US as well. And uh, it's been really cool just seeing their journey and how much they've learned these last few years. I think success stories, like seeing like all these student founders be able to uh, actually create something, whether that's Facebook being started like uh, by a college student. No matter how young you are, you could like build something that could make an impact in the lives of a lot of people. I think for startups in particular, especially in the early days, it's very hard to grow from like the idea to like the product and then actually launching the product, getting your first few users and customers. And I think. I think a big part of it is just like get started and then jump off the cliff and like figure out like how to build a parachute on the way down. I've been fortunate enough to like meet some really amazing people these last three, four years that have helped like youth hack uh, grow to what it is today. I've reached out to a lot of people these last four years as I've worked on Youth Hack who've really supported us, who've given us like advice, who've made some really like crucial introductions. And so during my freshman year, I actually got the chance to work closely with Wayne Kimmel, who's like the managing partner at 76 Capital. One of the biggest lessons I learned in college was actually from him, just the importance of cultivating relationships. In these last three, four years I've worked in Youth Hack, I've definitely like learned so much both from like all these like mentors, all the speakers we've had, all the investors, and I do think like it would be really cool to like go back to like the Philippines and like developing countries and see how I could use everything I've learned so far here in the U.S. to build up like communities, support like entrepreneurs and innovators in these developing countries. Done like a lot of like partnerships with the government as well to see like how it could shape uh, these like youth like startup communities has been like a, a really awesome experience and if we could like bring together the right people and uh, have them thinking differently about like the problems around them and uh, inspiring them to like solve those uh, we could really like create like a really strong community and maybe uh, something comes out of it and it's, it's been a lot of fun these last few years. Mm -hmm.